All right, all right, all right, guys. I'm here at Little Teleposa Park in Carlton, Georgia. And I'm going down about a quarter mile to a festival going on, and it's a Volkswagen swap meet and car show. Now, they've been playing music all day long, so more than likely I'm not going to be able to do too much talking because copyright problems. Anyways, I've had my share of Volkswagens, quite a few, and I love the Volkswagens, especially the old ones. So let's go check it out. See you there. Right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Okay, guys, this young man is Travis. And he has this little gator, and he's going to give me a ride down to the Volkswagen show. So, thank you, Travis. I appreciate that, because yes, I don't feel like walking that far. All right, guys, so I moved down here. You can hear the music in the background. I can only give it a few seconds of that. So, uh, let's go enjoy this. Follow ya. I'm not sure when they came out with that name. This looks like, I'm assuming in the 70s, 73, 72. You know one thing I did learn on Volkswagens, if I remember right, you could read the taillights. I have my sunglasses on, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. And then we have another pickup truck. Is this your ride, sir? Yeah, yeah. What, what year is it? 71. So in 71, they still made pickup trucks? Yep. Wow. That is awesome. One of my faves. I love the old pickup trucks. Yeah. You just can't find them anymore. No, you can't. The bus actually came out of Spain. Oh, really? Yeah. You I know. Bought it from an Air Force guy who brought it over. So, because they really weren't popular in the United States then? But they still made them, yeah. I mean, there's, a, you know, there's, there's some around. I was amazed about the red one over there. I mean, that's, that's like 80s or something like that. I, I don't remember ever seeing one in the uh, United States like that. I thought after the late 60s, they stopped making the rigs. Love the tap, love it. And there's the camper van. The, the weather today is kind of uh, on and off, so I think they, um, have a little less people because of the weather. Yeah. Ready for propane. Nice glass pack. That's how you do the camping. And I will say one thing. I'm enjoying the music. I had a 23 window a long, long time ago, but I didn't have the windows that open like that. That's so sweet. So sweet. So they kind of did some work on this. They took the upper lights off. That would be on the fender. And looking at the tail lights, I would say this is probably 67, something like that. I'm guessing again, you'd have to read the tail lights. So. There you go. No 
old 1600 dual port look at that engine that is sweet even got a tensioner on it now i've never seen that before yeah so it looks like got the holly two barrel on it dual port beautiful got the old tail lights kick out windows wow really done a nice job on the dash that is just absolutely beautiful no wonder he has all the trophies and he's got the assistance of the roller pedal i remember having those absolutely beautiful but i do believe this is the gentleman that um is putting the whole uh show on so it's cruise the coop so it's www.cruisethecoop.com all right like i was saying not not as big of a show up uh as they were expecting but if you look behind me they have uh vendors back here you can get corn dogs and shaved ice and it's becoming a warm day so that sounds pretty good but i'm gonna walk over here and check out these uh, rides and I think that'll be about it for the car show as you can see not not too awfully big but I think a lot of it has to do with the weather it was supposed to be uh, terrible 80% chance of rain so as some of my friends say it is what it is all right I forget if I told you guys about this so my first Volkswagen was a 71 Super Beetle after that i probably had eight or nine volkswagens i've had the buses i've had the uh, bugs never had a Ghia. i had a chance to have a Ghia. it was either for my second car it was either going to be the Ghia or the bug i went with the bug the 71 for the simple reason it was a 12 volt the Ghia was gonna was a 67 67 6 volt didn't know much about volkswagens back then and I just knew 12 volt had to be because it, I needed 12 volt stereo and so I could listen to some music. So I love the older styles and everything. And uh, they're one of my faves. I like the new styles too, but I love the old styles. Absolutely beautiful. Love the tray. That was one of my nice things that I enjoyed on mine too. And the sunroof. newer style I think this is like 74 because I kind of remember the tail lights that were bigger like that but I didn't know the 74s had the uh, ability to have pop out windows that was one thing that I really enjoyed about some of the Volkswagens because like you know they didn't have air conditioning it's another style there and then another another new one over there there you go there was that 1600? 1600. Yeah. Fuel injection. Yeah. Fuel injection. Oh, was 2003. this. 2003. That's a 2003 yeah. model? Yeah. No, 2003 from Mexico, the right model. Oh. Wow. That's right. They still made them really nice down there. Oh, so it's electronic ignition, right. still dual port, and fuel injection. Sweet. Love the exhaust. They still call that a Monza exhaust? Yes. <laughs> beautiful and and so it, it came out with pop-out windows too then I put it did you okay Yes, I put it. because they stopped doing it when I remember you know back in the late what 60s or something right they stopped doing that oh always so nice to have those to be able to uh, oh, yeah. vent and get some air yeah it's got open by a foot you know oh really wow that's sweet and you still have the wing window so you can bring it in and That's take it out. The air conditioning. <laughs> the air conditioning. And also I have a uh, under of the dash. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, look at that push button. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. It's Quite the, the job. The fan. Oh. That, and that's just, that blows air. Just right. no air conditioning. Oh, I see. Yeah, the air. I have another one over there. Wow. So you plug this one oh right yep i got to put another extra under because i don't want to see this one because it looks too ugly right so but sweet it's, it's really working well because it's a turbo 
Yeah. Yeah. Turbo. I'm big. Wow, I forgot they still made them down in Mexico. All right, so that was a quick glimpse at what kind of Volkswagens we have out here. And uh, I, I totally forgot they still made them down in Mexico, the old style. At least they were when I was talking to the gentleman from 04 that had his 04 Volkswagen. Um, it was free to get in. If the weather was better, I think more people would have been here. I, I want to say this is the second year of putting this on and uh, hopefully it just gets better for him. So now we're going to take a walk back to the camper and talking to the gentleman that gave me a ride here said I'm going to walk by a couple ponds. So I'll take you on the walk back and I don't know if I should hyperlapse. It'll probably only take me a few minutes, but hopefully it's not too bouncy. So we'll check out. So this is the big field they have it in. This is part of the park here. And uh, the trail's right up here. So let's go for a walk. Thing about them, they have played some awesome music all day long. Unfortunately, you guys will only be able to hear just a little bit. Uh-oh, and there's the guard, guard goose. Uh-oh, two guards of a goose. I guess they're geese when you have one or more. We'll slide by. Hopefully they just smile at us. <laughs> oh no. One of Scotty's biggest nightmares. A fork in the road. <laughs> Do I go to the left or right? And here's the problem. I'm a damn Libra. Oh, we can't make up our mind. Left or right? Oh, I guess if I go to the right, that should be right. Let's hope. Because I think I was near the opening. Oh, just started feeling the rain. Yeah, when I was a kid, we used to go to... Uh, Oh, I think it was called Pacific Raceway. No, it was called SIR, Seattle International Raceway, back in the day. And several times I went to the Volkswagen show, which was called the Bug In. Oh my gosh, was it so much fun. I've never seen a buggy move so quick. I think that's when I became a fan. Now that I'm older, I um, would love to have a Volkswagen. Unless it had air conditioning. It needs air conditioning. Holy moly. They are making it difficult for me today. Left or right again. The gentleman did not explain that to me. And that looks like down a hill. And I don't know where it goes. Oh, okie dokie. And it goes way down there. Okay, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go to the left this time. Oh, and here's the rain. And luckily I'm underneath the canopy, but I'm not worried about getting rained on. One thing about here is uh, it's warm. Oh, I think we're coming up on the this is the uh, where the big RVs go. Where it's 30 bucks a night for uh, full hookup. Oh no, another fork in the road. Okay, I'm going to the right this time. I do remember being out here. Aja and I walked over this way. This is where the camp host is. I guess I could have stayed to the right and went around this whole thing, but I don't want to get lost. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that walk and the Volkswagens as much as I did. I uh, wish, kind of wish there was a few more um, to see, but it was fine. It was worth the walk and the ride down there. So until next time, be good, be safe, Drive safe and be good to each other. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>